and welcome back to my general anatomy lecture series lecture number 10 which is all about the human body muscles name there are 640 muscles covering the human skeleton are you worried how to remember their names but if you can classify 7.9 billion people on the basis of their location characteristics and features that was the problem with the 640 muscles only that it make more easier for you we will classify the muscles name on the basis of their shape location numbers of their head attachment direction of fibers cross morphology and their functions on the basis of the shape the muscles are named as trapezium the muscle of the back it got its its name because of its trapezoid shape then the rhomboids the muscles of the back below the trapezium they are named because they are rhomboid shaped or the diamond shaped then the serratus anterior muscle they got its name serratus because it's mean so shaped and the orbicularis oculi and the orbicularis oris they got their name orbicularis because of their circular shapes on the basis of their location the pectoralis muscle is named because they are present in the breast or the chest then the biceps brachii the brachii mean the arm as the muscle is present in the arm so it got its name from its location then the femoris femoris mean the muscle present in the thigh the example is the rectus femoris and the temporalis because it is present in the temporal region on the basis of the size as we have studied the pectoralis muscles are the muscles of the chest and on the basis of their size there are two types of pectoralis the major one and the minor one then the rhomboids diamond shape they are rhomboid minor and rhomboid major on the basis of their size then the gluteus because they are present in the gluteal region so gluteus medius maximus and the minimus are named because of their sizes next is the naming on the basis of the number of the heads their biceps brachii because it has two heads and present in the arm and the triceps it has three heads and the quadriceps having the four heads now on the basis of the attachments there is coraco brachialis it got its name because of the coraco from the coracoid process of the scapula and the brachialis because it gets attached to the humerus that is the arm bone and the sternocleidomastoid because sterno it has its attachment with the sternum clavicle and the mastoid process of the temporal bone now on the basis of the direction of the muscle fibers it has rectus the rectus mean straight muscle fibers example is the rectus abdominis then the transversus having the transverse muscle fibers example is the transversus abdominis and the oblique they have diagonally placed muscle fibers example is the internal oblique a 
according to the gross morphology they are semi membranous because it is partly membranous in the shape and the semi tendinous because it's partly tendinous in shape on the basis of the function supinator gorge is named because it is the supinator of the arm and the pronator causes the pronation of the arm for more videos like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you